He and Ian Wallace have between them scored 18 goals in the 14 matches they've played together since Myrtle's return. And Brian Clough says he wouldn't swap them now for any other partnership in the league. But then this Forest side has been steadily climbing the table. Eat your heart out, Jimmy Greaves. It's a useful blend of promising youth and invaluable experience. Stephen Hodge, 20 years old, has been one of the finds of the season in midfield. And Colin Todd, 13 years his senior, who's back today after injury. He's been playing as well as any central defender in the country. Todd's return means that Britton Gunn moves to fullback, with Ian Bowyer replacing Colin Walsh in midfield. Manchester City having a fair season too, keeping pace with United across the city. They've not scored though now in three matches. Hence John Bond's unsuccessful attempt to borrow Justin Fashionu, who's today watching from the stands. Bond has injury problems. After the Milk Cup defeat at Southampton, Asa Hartford has failed a fitness test. So has Graham Baker. So in come Dennis Stewart and Andy May, with 18-year-old defender Jeff Lomax having his first taste of senior duty as substitute. The referee today then is Dennis Hedges of Oxford. Nottingham Forest then kicking off, unbeaten in their last five matches, and they could go second if they win today. Manchester City, they haven't won now in four games. This is Kevin Bond. A fall then from Gunn, it goes Stuart with Bowyer. Now Tommy Caton. Away then by Willie Young, finding Gary Bertles. From behind, a forest free kick. I think the referee will insist that that's taken again. A wild afternoon here in Nottingham today. A good atmosphere, too. A fair sized crowd. Certainly reflecting the success that Forest have achieved in recent weeks. And Colin Tom. He's popped away on the far side. Pulled on to Wallace, but uh, Caton had gone with him. And a tackle too from Tommy Caton, who has been in splendid form for Manchester City this season. The corner taken by Proctor. And he is again with the cross. Willie Young has stayed up. And running over for a goal kick. I'm sure we're going to see the familiar figure of Willie Young quite often the penalty area for set pieces the header from Tom finds Bertels now Robertson Forrest with plenty of players in support this is Hodge but it round Kate pulls it from Proctor and the first time shot really should have been on target rather snapped at the shot smile there from Proctor over the bar really get over the top of it. It was good work by Hodge down the left. Across to the far post, and Proctor smacking it first time. Young again winning the header. Swain for Wallace. Can he turn kick? Proctor's outside him. Still Wallace. Now Burkholz. And the shot. Came off a defender. Another Forest corner. Foot right there from Gary Bertles, who really has been a threat in this Forest attack. Short corner taken by Robertson. Still Willie Young just outside the six yard box. Hodge, this is Young now. And Corrigan rather fumbling the shot from Willie Young. A real direction on the shot. Willie Young firing it in. And Corrigan almost letting it slip. Well played across there from the left. Hodge involved. See the ball coming to Willie Young. And there's Corrigan not really holding on to it properly. Bertles. Well timed tackle though by Ray Ransom. And so was Guns. Dreadful clearance so by Willie Young. He was rather lucky to get away with that. Now Bond for City. Over Stewart's head. Reeves has gone through. Away from top. And he screwed the shot wide. A clear chance there for Kevin Reeves, who has only scored twice this season. Seems to be suffering from a lack of confidence in front of goal. That was a clear chance. 
fractionally away from Colin Taunton. Enough time to get in the shot. And it was fairly well wide. Proctor. And again, intelligent use of the space here by Hodge. Running away from Powell. Proctor. Has a second chance. Away from McDonald. Three, four players waiting in the area. Now Bertels. The crowd appealing for a penalty. Robertson. Surely, what a scramble. And finally away. It really was an incredible moment inside the area. It seemed the ball just had to go in. And Forrest eventually cleared it. Uh, City Rather eventually cleared it. Peyton. Reeves. Well, how City survived that one, only they will know for penalties and the ball cleared away from inside the six-yard box. Rees with the cross in and Van Brooklyn underneath it. <clears throat> now Boya. City lifted by the recent attacks. Almost succeeded. Donald. Almost over Todd's head, falls in for David Cross, driving in and feeling for a penalty, and then the shot from Ransom. David Cross claiming there that it struck the arm of the Forest defender. David Cross clearly not happy. A chance falling to him just outside the penalty area. Player on the ground, Colin Todd. Did it strike his arm? Well, if it did, he probably maintained anyway that he could hardly get out of the way. Young again. It's time for Wallace. Certainly prepared to scrap for the ball here, Wallace. And he's won the free kick. And then for Gum. And then for Bertels. Donald though had timed it well. Robertson. Is ever faced by Ransom. This is Bertels. It's a good ball from Robertson. Well, Bertels went down. A few fists checking behind the goal. I don't think that was really a serious claim by Bertels for a penalty. Didn't seem to protest too strongly himself anyway. Robertson then with the corner. Again the short one to Hodge. And Hodge went down. And Robertson appealing that the defence on Hodge and warranted a free kick. Heisman indeed is flagging for it. Robertson then with a the kick in. The header from Young. Willie Young's second goal of the season has put Forrest in front. Four minutes from half time. The referee gave the free kick. And from the cross, Willie Young has headed Forrest into the lead. Robertson tackled by Cross. As we move into stoppage time in the first half. What a fight tackled by Proctor. He slipped short and was then caught. The legs of Mark Proctor taken away by Dennis Stewart. And a mild rebuke anyway for the referee. 
before they can take the kick. Referee Dennis Hedges blows the whistle for half time. A disappointing half in some ways, but certainly for Forrest, it's been a good one in that they've taken the lead. Willie Young's goal just four minutes from half time. A header inside the six yard box. There he is, the scorer, Willie Young. Only his second goal of the season. Forrest in front then at half time. It's Forrest 1, Manchester City 0. The television gantry at the city ground rather busy today not only are the match highlights being shown on itv today it's also going out live to scandinavian countries which emphasizes i suppose that the english game retains its popularity abroad so then away we go for the second half Manchester city heading us underway i'm sure looking to improve on their distribution particularly in the the final pass found them by david cross willie young jumping with Wallace and Young again powerful boot upfield he's certainly been a solid foundation at the heart of the Forest defence indeed Ryan Clough was a man of the match last week at Sunderland Proctor improving ball to John Robertson chance to run at defenders but cross into Bond Half clearing away, and then from Bottles! And that really is the perfect start for the second half for Nottingham Forest. Just one minute into the second half, Robertson here teasing defenders down the left. There had been a good ball from Proctor that had found him. The cross only half clear, really, by Kevin Bond. And look how well Gary Bertles jumps for the header. Beyond the reach of Joe Corrigan. 2-0 then to Nottingham Forest. And City now have a mountain to climb. Gary Bertles with his ninth goal for Nottingham Forest. Kevin Reeves. Interception though by Wallace. Now Hodge. He has Bertles ahead of him. Hodge looking for a shooting chance himself. What a splendid effort from Stephen Hodge. Just 20 years of age. And showing remarkable maturity already in this Forest side. Looking here for an opening. Bertles away to his left. Might have slipped it to him, but he had a shot himself and wasn't far away. Stewart heading on for cross. work there by Kenny Swain Bertles away from Caton and then for Wallace and a lovely touch off too and Bertles is through here brilliant goal by Gary Bertles a fine throwing move by Forrest that really was a splendid goal 25 minutes into the second half and Forrest now have surely taken a real grip on this match now. Bertles, lovely flick off there from Wallace. Bertles going through, and driving it past Corrigan, who almost got a hand to it. So Gary Bertles, second goal of the match, his tenth of the season. And he really is in fine form. And this surely will enhance his claim for another chance at England level. City now with Reed. Matt surely has slipped out of their grasp now. Power looking to get in the cross. Nice to do so too. It really is a comfortable ride at the moment for Nottingham Forest. They cope with almost everything that Manchester City have offered. was almost clear it's a challenge for the ball with Caton Stewart forward for power now Reeves power continued the run falls in for May a 
clear chance for Andy May and it went over the top as power went through the flick on Reeves there involved he falls in nicely for Andy May and he couldn't keep the shot down Hodgett made a good run through and Robertson almost found him a lot of imagination about Nottingham Forest today Power for City. And then Ransom caught by Bryn Gunn's intervention. And the throw going City's way. And all that City can hope for now is a late goal to at least give a little bit of respectability to the scoreline. And they won't be able to manage it. There goes the final whistle. A fine performance by Nottingham Forest, who've now won six consecutive matches here at the City Ground. And they certainly deserve to win today. 3-0 the final score. Willie Young, four minutes from half-time. With a headed goal inside the six-yard box. And then in the second half, two goals from Gary Bertles, who really is in magnificent form and worth a look, I would think, from Bobby Robson, as far as England is concerned. Forest then could well go into second place tonight. They've won here by three goals to nil.